Hi everyone. Right, it is a bit late at night, but I'm going to be doing another one. Uh, another, well I don't know. I've got some bits and pieces that I want to play with. <laughs> so, I'm going to start by adding this picture. Um, I need to add it pretty quick. To my board. <coughs> it does matter about cutting that out. Um, and now this is the material I bought and now we're just going to do what we can I think let me just see I can't remember yeah that was the way to do it <laughs> sorry I need to cut um, a good couple of inches I think crisscross now I need well, I don't actually need it, but I'm going to do it, let's measure this out, roughly, that's the centre, that's the centre, that's the centre, and that's the centre. So I'm going to go, you're watching now. Centre to centre. am I? No, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. Centre that again, so half of that, half of that is there, half of that is there, half of that, half of that, half of that, that's roughly. Right, and what I'm going to do, I'm going to go from this section to that one, I think. Let's just see how we get on. From there to there. Will that work? We'll see. Just pop that on. I know it's going to flip over. I'm just trying to get this worked right. Okay, so we're going to do that. Get rid of all the excess. Oh, that's held that down. Probably not enough, but um, just do it slightly like that. Okay, turn it round, and we're going to go from there to there with the other bit. Okie dokie, here we go. From there to there. Not going to worry about this bit at the moment. Turn it around. And we're going to go from that one to that one. Like that. And then turn that around again. And we're going to go from there to there. This is just to hold it down. To there. Yeah, I'm not worried about this section at all. Okie dokie, now we've got that. Now we're going to go back again. 
only this time. So these are about two inches wide and we're folding them in half. And then I'm going to go from there to there, just over the edge of that one. And this time I have to make sure I've got it even, of course. Like that. Again, turn that around. Now you can do this with any fabric. Any fabric at all. Let me just make sure I've got that. Don't worry about it being not pinned in properly yet. We do all of that afterwards. Just keep going. <clears throat> I mean, really, these pieces would get smaller, of course. Just try and match these up. to cut some more now that has to hasn't folded exactly where I want it but that doesn't matter at all don't worry about it Okay, now what I'm going to do is to trim that at the moment, just trim that down because I don't want that to be in the way of what I'm going to do. And if it comes undone, you just glue it back on, it's not a problem at all. Okay. Do you want some, Ethan? Yeah, which room are we sleeping in? Yeah. yeah. Okay. It's alright, I've got the grandsons here and uh, they're just wanting to make sure they know where they sleep. Because they do have beds, but uh, they like sleeping in mine. <laughs> and I sleep on the couch when they're not here. Because I don't disturb Grandad. Okay, now I'm hoping that that piece I've just cut off will do that piece, and it will. You see, so you start to save material. You notice I'm only doing the crossover bits. Not in here. Because I might want to use them sort of areas for something. We can... Just pin that down, that's nothing. Okay. They're just as we're going around. We'll just give it a bit of a trim. So we've three across there and three, now we're doing three here. This is beautiful, beautiful vintage material. A vintage style, it's not actual vintage, just the style. Okay, that's not quite big enough to go there, but the next one, you know, when it goes round again, it will be. Oh, my phone's going for the mail, going tent it doesn't. <laughs> I get so many emails and messages a day. 
it's hard to breathe sometimes I love it don't get me wrong again we're gonna go just across here now Oops, that's a little bit short, but never mind. That will be fine. Okay, let's just see if we can fit this piece on now, because I didn't want to waste that. Just... just fits there now what I like to do and you will see on the video that I've done already about uh, this technique is I generally love to alternate the colors so I have a plain color with a pattern and it looks superb and then no other people have done it because they have sent pictures to me of what they've made but with this particular one, I just want to have it all the same. Just move that across. I'm not worrying about that whatsoever. I will go back and fill all that in properly. These are really quick to make, but the effect is gorgeous. Just gorgeous. Now, I am going to be selling this material, um, and it is cut to size, so you'll just be paying for a sm um, not a small piece, a pretty big bit, but... It's enough to do one of these. I've just used one piece so far for this. And I think I've probably just got enough um, to finish this off. I might need one more piece. So I'm just going to yeah, sort that off, out. Just again go on this corner. Like that. I mean, I'm taking my time for the, you know, to do the film for you. And I generally rush, don't I? But I have no need to with this particular piece. I'm just going to do this one first and we'll pop that one down. And I'll just level this one up. I'm going to go right across on this one. Just to fill it in, that's all. So I'm sorry if I'm speaking low, but like I say, Hubby's gone to bed and the children have just gone to bed. My grandsons. And uh, yeah, I'm just going to get one more piece. I'm just going to fill that bit in, just there, like so, like I say, don't worry about the corners at all, because we're not having corners on this, we do chop them off, but um, there, I've gone layer by layer around this and as you can see I've not quite pinned them down now what I'm going to do is just very quickly 
you just pin all that down together. I mean, you can do it as you go along, but I just choose to do it when I'm doing finish this. It's just easier for me. And the last bit, like I say, I'm only gently squeezing on the nozzle, right on the uh, handle. Oops, pull that back. And like I say, don't worry about it all because that will all just. Now, what um, I'm going to take the same width here. Like that, and hopefully, we'll do it on each corner. They're all about the same. I can cut it down and trim it a bit more if I have to. That one needs to, I think. Um, and then, oops, glue string. <laughs> then, what I'm going to do is use some of my, um, here it is, I've got it here, some of my elasticated trim. Which I absolutely love this. It's just really, really pretty. And we're just going to go straight across the bottom. And touch down like that. Take the loose off. Now, I should be able to do the corner section here quite easily. Just pin that down. And we nip that like that. Pin that back a bit. Just pinch it, just give it a pinch and it'll turn the corner. Okay. Again, under here, just wants a little bit of glue. Pull that back a bit. And we can pinch that corner. Like that. Spin that around and pop that on. And pinch the corner. Make sure that's stuck down. And just pinch the top of it. Right, 
and then I'm just gonna cut that there and just stick that bit in and there you go we've got a nice frame on that up to now but um, I'm not gonna leave it like that because um, <clears throat> what I'm going to do um, I need to add a feather or two and I'm just going to take off the bottom section um, and what I do is I pin them just in here so that's you know once you've left that open that's fine for doing this and we take the bottom section off because it's easier to glue and poke through I'm going to do that on the next section I think just there leave that open like that okay I don't want too much on them whoops I don't want that mess either <clears throat> I've got some of these leaves that I'm going to just apply here sell these in the shop and you get a bag of 30 and they're really really pretty um, and what I'm going to do is just snip the the end off so it sticks better and we're gonna pop three of them around like that take one more like that I think that's really pretty but we've not finished with it just yet um, because what I'm going to do now is use some of my pearl string Oh, yeah, the, I'll use the small one, I think. It's just the right size. And I think we'll have one of those as well. Should we get my scissors? <coughs> Here we go. Now I've got a little heart. Because with something like this, you don't want to overdo it. You know, uh, back in the days, they didn't have much, so you didn't see that much. Nothing was lavished. It was nice and frilly and whatever, but you didn't see that much. So we're just going to pop that in that corner, like that. And then, you see here, where we've got nothing and the board's showing? Well, what you do with that is I'll show you now when I can find where have I put my um, my bows I think I'll use the smaller ones we do want them to be cream uh, oops There we go. Oh, 
Because what I'm going to do is I just, it's, it's just something different. You don't want too many flowers. So it'll look great with a bow there. And a bow on that side. And I'm not bothered about that little bit showing at all because the feathers will flip over there. And it's just giving it a different look altogether. But what I'm going to do is uh, just in certain areas is add some of this pearl string. So we start at the bottom one. And I'm going to add a touch of the pearl string. And then snip that off. Miss, add, miss, add. Just works out perfectly. Okay, so we just snip that, only take it to where it, the, it crosses over and you'll see why. Probably should have done this first actually. So we do want it to go on here. snip that. We'll miss that section but we do want it to go on here. So we just pop that on. Onto there and we snip. Sorry I hope you've seen this. See? like that. Now again we want it here because you do want to do the inside snip it, miss that one blow the feather away the back and then you just do one here it, there is a bit of that showing so you might as well put it in and fill it again we do the inside Miss this one, and we do the one under the heart. Okay. And it, it might look funny to some not having them on every one, but it actually looks really, really nice. Um, I just put a little bit of decoration on here. Um, I hope that, uh, yeah, because it went off again, so I think we've come back on. Now I'm just going to find something really sweet. Oh, I've got this. This is absolutely stunning. So I've got one of those. Uh, and what I'm going to do is just to pop that on the centre there. And it's absolutely stunning. Yeah. Well, I could. Hmm. <laughs> right, I've got a couple of these. Let me just show you what I mean. If, because you've left the gaps open here, 
if you wanted to you could cut something like this flower and I do sell these just waiting for the next batch to come in you see and I could slot them under there for decoration in fact I might just do that just the odd place you see just for decoration oops let's turn that over Move that up a little bit and slot that in. Now, I'm not going to do that with mine, but you could, and you could, you know, do one there and, and alter, alternate them and whatever. But yeah, I do like that. And that's just to show you how to do it. So I hope you like that. Thanks for watching. Take care, and I'll speak to you soon. Bye bye for now.